All right, hey everybody, Quinn here, Tactical and Practical. Hope you're doing well. Um, I've got some game cameras that I had to purchase for some field work. And uh, for budgetary constraints, I bought a high-end game camera and then kind of a, a lower-end uh, game camera. And I kind of wondered how much better the high-end game camera would be. We've got the Reconyx Hyperfire 2 Pro Covert IR, I believe. It's kind of a mouthful. This comes in, you can get them between five and six hundred bucks. And then we also have this Bushnell, which is the low glow, I want to say, 24 megapixel core prime low glow trail camera, which can be had for about a hundred bucks. So if you are thinking of buying a game camera, um, I thought maybe I'd tell you, is there really a perceptible difference um, between the two? You would think that there probably should be, right? Both are fairly similar in function. You do notice that there are lights on the low glow. Low glow, I think, refers to the idea that these bulbs will fire to take a picture in low light or dark conditions, whereas the Reconyx, you notice there are no bulbs, so it functions purely on IR. If you're using these for a hunting application and you don't want to uh, train the game or spook the game, that might be a reason to consider, if not this model, then a model that utilizes infrared technology. The Bushnell is pretty light, pretty small. Obviously, you can see it fits in my hand. Simple uh, locking mechanism here. Both of these cameras do come with like a mounting strap, if you will. Open it up. If you've programmed these before, that'll look pretty familiar. You've got a little display, you've got your arrow buttons, uh, memory button, and then your selector on, off, aim choices. You also have this little rubber protector for connection port. And then to open the batteries, there is a button. You pop it out, and you have to pull on this tray kind of hard. And you'll notice this takes six batteries for the Bushnell. I've had both of these cameras deployed in a saltwater environment in a marsh and they've been hanging for a month and they have both been set identically to take pictures every 10 minutes. I went out in the field and pulled some data. Um, they are both barely sipping batteries. They're doing really well in the batteries. I have good luck though. I do spend a little extra on the batteries and get the Energizer Lithiums. Now for the Reconyx, very similar by design. Unlock the door, open it up, and instead of on-off aim, you just have on-off. You have a similar arrow selector and then the OK button. You will notice the battery tray is on the side and this takes 12 batteries. So your battery expense may be a little bit higher. I can't really comment yet on battery life because both of these cameras um, were barely sipping the batteries and they took about 4,500 pictures each. And they do also have this little uh, mounting screw here. I ignore the, this is the strap that comes with them. They're both basically the same strap with this little clasp here. Um, these are sitting out in a saltwater environment where the Texas sun is beating down on them. I just chunk these out the window and I put my two foot zip ties, pull these things tight against the mounting post, and then snip the tie and you're good to go. And so, is it better? Um, I'm going to show you here, first off you'll see a daylight picture from each camera, so I'll give you a minute to look at that. All right, so from the daylight picture, you can see the Reconyx clearly takes a better shot. Um, is it better? Is it $400 better? I, the answer is probably going to be that it depends. It depends on what you want to use it for. If you're looking to identify what kind of animals are coming through your feeder at 30 yards, this Bushnell is probably going to get the job done. If you want the ability to see a, um, what's going on a little farther afield and then have enough pixels so that you could... 
um, zoom in and with some level of clarity to understand what's happening, then you might want to consider the reconics. For this particular application, um, doing field surveys of animals that are coming through, I went with about a six to one ratio of Bushnells to reconics. On every monitoring post, I hung two Bushnells and one reconics. Part of what you want to consider is what is the budget. I just couldn't buy all Reconyx cameras, but I did want to have access to some higher quality imagery. Um, you can see they both show you what's going on, but for, particularly for those objects that are farther afield, the Reconyx is clearly superior. Is it $400 superior? Well, that's a question you're going to have to answer. Um, one more shot we'll look at. Again, remembering that both these cameras are set to take pictures every 10 minutes and their clocks have been synchronized. I'm also going to show you a low light picture so you can see what the difference is um, in low light or no light conditions. Check that out and we'll be right back. All right, low light conditions hands down the Reconyx is clearly superior. It's giving you a color image that is clear whereas the Bushnell at that time is still providing you a black and white image. Again, is it worth an extra 400 bucks? Well, it probably depends on your um, use. If you've got a ranch and you want to track game movements around the ranch, I would probably opt for five Bushnells instead of one Reconyx. If you want higher quality imagery, a few more bells and whistles capabilities, you don't want a light to flash at all, then you might want to consider going with the Hyperfire. If you had a budget of $1,000 and you wanted to set up a network of these things, I would probably say buy one Reconyx and five Bushnells to get you uh, as big of a footprint as possible, but still providing you access to at least one camera with the higher quality imagery. But really the bottom line in this deal is, yeah, the Reconyx is better. Is it $400 better? It depends on your case use. They are both rugged. They have both held up in the field over the course of the month with zero failures. Not just on the images that I showed you, but the whole network of cameras. We've had zero failures. They're both really uh, being pretty miserly with battery use, which I like. Although it's a little bit difficult to make an apples to apples comparison because the Reconyx does take twice as many batteries. Uh, we're going to be shooting with these cameras for the next year or two. Maybe I'll come back in six months after they both have shot about 25,000 images and give you an update as to how they're doing. Uh, but like I said, you, you, you get what you pay for, but really the extent to which one is better or not depends on what you want to use it for. If I had, um, I don't know, a, a couple hundred few hundred acre plot that I wanted to survey regularly like I said if the budget's a thousand I'd probably buy one of the Reconyx and five of the Bushnells but it just depends on what you want to get out of those images and what you want to use it for if you're thinking about buying a game camera and you're torn between a higher end product and kind of a more entry level product and this helped you make a decision please like the video subscribe to the channel um, it helps me devote time to help you and uh, I always like to try to help make informed uh, customers because informed customers usually end up getting what they want. So thanks a lot. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.